Hi, it's Francesco Tiziot, Senior Developer Advocate at Ivan. In today's video, we will solve a problem, which is how to experience Apache Kafka if you don't have a streaming dataset to begin with. And we will use Docker in order to solve this problem. So let's start. The first thing that we have to do is to navigate to GitHub Ivan slash fake data producer for Apache Kafka Docker which is a public GitHub repository containing all the code necessary. We can just click on code and copy the repository URL. Now we can go to our favorite terminal and just hit git clone and paste the URL itself. OK, it's downloading the necessary code from GitHub. And once it's done, we can navigate to the fake data producer for Apache Kafka Docker folder. And we can also navigate to the conf folder within it. What we will see here is a file called env.conf.sample that we can copy to another file called env.conf that will be used by Docker to retrieve all the necessary parameters. Let's visualize the env.conf. It contains a set of parameters that we need to fill. If we go back to our GitHub repository, we can scroll a little bit down and find the set of parameters that we need to fill. The first parameter is called the project name. This is the Ivan project name. And if you are using the Ivan console, it's written on the top left. In my case, it's DevRel Francesco. The next parameter is the service name. It's the Ivan for Apache Kafka service name. So again, if you're using the console, it's the service name in red here. It's called Kafka Demo in my case. Next, I can define which will be the target topic name in my Kafka that will, where I will push my data, together with the number of partitions and the number of replications that I want to have across my brokers. Then I can define the overall number of messages that I want to push. I can write a specific number like 200, or I can leave this to zero to have a continuous flow, a never ending flow of data. The max time defines which is the maximum time between messages. If I set this, for example, to five, it will start generating a new message every between zero and five seconds. The subject defines what type of messages I'm creating. We pre-created for you various type of messages, including fake pizza orders, if you select pizza, user behavior that will showcase how user purchases changes, stocks, or real stocks, which is using the Yahoo Finance APIs to retrieve real stock data, and also metrics, which is an IoT metrics use case. Then you need to fill the username, the Ivan account username, and the token with the Ivan token. If you don't know how to generate an Ivan token, I will link in the YouTube description, in the video description, the link to the ONES video about how to generate such a token. Finally, Private link, I'm, it defines if you're using a private link or not. And security allows you to say if you, you're using SSL or security or other security mechanism. OK, now we have everything ready. We need to customize the conf.env file. See you in a bit while I'm doing it. So we are back, and I edited my configuration file. And now I will push my data to a project name called DevRel Francesco. The service name, the Apache Kafka service name is called Kafka Demo. The topic where I will land the messages is pizza topic with two partitions, two replication factor, unlimited number of messages with number of messages equal to zero, one second between messages as maximum time, subject is pizza, meaning that I will create fake pizza orders, username is ftziot at ivan.io, and the token that you see here will be expired by the time that this video will be out. Private link is no, I'm not using private link. Security is SSL. Now that I edited my configuration file, it's time to build the image. So I can navigate back to the fake data producer for Apache Kafka Docker folder. And if we go back to our repository, we can see that step number three is actually build the Docker image. I can copy the code go back to my terminal, paste it, and this will start building my Docker image. Now it's done. The following step is to run the Docker image. Again, let's copy the command 
and let's execute it. What this will do is we'll start running the Docker image, which will install all the required Python packages, and then we'll create the topic that I define as pizza topic, and we'll start pushing the continuous flow of pizza orders. So now the topic is created and we can see a continuous flow of messages being created by the producer side. If we want to check that on Ivan for Apache Kafka, we can go back to our browser. We can go to the Ivan console, check the Kafka demo, Ivan for Apache Kafka instance. If we scroll down, we need to enable the Apache Kafka REST API, which are part of Carapace, an open source project driven by Ivan. We can see that this is enabled. This allows us to browse the Kafka topic and the messages via REST APIs and via our console. So we can navigate to the topics. We can see that the pizza topic has been created. And if we click on the three dots and topic messages, we will be able to browse the messages in the topic. So we can see that the majority of messages are landing in the partition zero because we created two partitions in our configuration file. And if we click on fetch messages, we will start a consumer reading from the topic and it will display our messages down here. If we decode from base64, we can see that we are using the shop name as key and we have a pretty complex payload which tell us everything about the pizza order, including the list of pizzas. I have two pizzas in my order. Number zero is Diavola with banana and strawberry as a topping. The number one pizza is Maria Monti with strawberry as a topping. Quite weird in my opinion. We have 16 messages in here, and if we fetch the messages again, we will see that we will have new messages popping up. Now we are at 33. So what we saw in the last five minutes is how to solve the problem of willing to test Kafka but not having any streaming data set. We use Docker in order to solve our problem with a simple set of commands and a configuration file that you can modify for your needs. If you like what you saw today and you're curious about the next topics in our videos, subscribe on the YouTube Ivan channel. Hope to see you soon. Bye from Francesco.